Hello and welcome to a video tutorial from matthawkins.co.uk. In this tutorial I'll show how you can rip a DVD to your hard drive with DVD Fab HD Decryptor, which is free to download and use. The first step is to go to dvdfab.com and when you're there click products and under free stuff you should see a link for a DVD Fab HD Decryptor. So if I click that this page will then explain all about the product, um, what its capabilities are, and also what the system requirements are. And at the top here, there's a download link. So click that link, download the file, install the application, following the instructions as you go along. And then when you've installed it, you're then ready to run it. So if we just run DVD Fab. It will just take a few seconds to bring up the next window. And here it is. Now this list here shows features of DVD Fab which you have to pay for. So they're presented here so that you can use them as a trial for 30 days. However, just to rip DVDs and Blu-rays you just need the HD decryptor feature which is free and never expires so you'll always be able to use that. So you just select it click start DVD fab to bring up the main interface and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a DVD disc into my DVD drive and DVD fab will then scan the disc look at the structure of it and then allow you to continue so it's just going to scan the disc now in drive X and when it's finished that that should come up in the source drop down up here, there we go. And what we're going to do is click this folder icon and I'm just going to give it a folder to store the ripped files in on my hard drive on drive D. Now you've got two options, you can either rip the entire disk which will rip everything or you can rip the main movie which just lets you rip a specific track on the disk which might be the main movie but it might also be a film trailer or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click full disk because I want to rip the whole disk. I'm going to leave these on the default, leave those on the default and leave those on the default. If you want you can change the volume label and what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this to DVD 9 which represents a dual layer disk to make sure that the quality is set to 100% and to ensure that the entire disk is copied to my hard drive and then I'm going to click start and what DVD Fab will do is go through each of the files on the disk and rip them to your hard drive and the speed of this is going to depend on your hardware but usually it will take uh, 5 to 10 minutes something like that so it's almost finished now and there we go now it's finished uh, ripping the disk and it's automatically jumped me to the folder where it's ripped the files to and if I go into the video TS folder I can see all the DVD files that have been ripped from my DVD and that's the folder and basically what it does is if you rip a full disk it creates this folder called full disk and inside there you should then see the a folder with the volume name from your disk so if you went off and ripped multiple disks in the full disk mode you would see them all collected in here each one of them would then have its own audio TS video TS folders so I'm going to click OK on that dialog box and you can then click finish and you're then in a position to replace the disk with another one or as we'll do here I'll show you what the main movie option is so what you can do is click main movie I'm gonna reinsert my disk
and it will just scan the disk again and then hopefully appear in the source drop down. So I'll just give it a few seconds to find the disk. And it will then whiz through the disk and scan the folder structure. And what it's done now is it's found the titles on the disk and it's assumed that the longest one must be the main movie. So it's automatically selected this title here that's 1 hour 43. If, however, you wanted to grab any one of the other titles, i.e. this one here that's 1 minute 11 seconds or this one that's 2 minute 2, you're free to change that selection. So what I'm actually going to do to make it quicker is I'm going to select this title that's 2 minutes long. Now if that title has multiple audio tracks, they'll be selected here and you're free to select and unselect them if you wish to remove a particular um, audio track and I'm then going to switch that to DVD 9 although in this case it doesn't actually make any difference and then I'm going to click next I'm going to leave all of these as a default and then I'm going to click start and that will go through the same copy process as before but this time it's only going to remove the track I've selected which is why this time it's uh, much much quicker Again, it's jumped me back into the uh, my file explorer to show me the RIP files. If I go into Video TS, there's the RIP files, not quite as many of them this time. If I go into my DVD RIPs folder, it's created a subfolder called Main Movie, and that's where it sticks all the RIPed files when you're using the Main Movie mode. So if you do a mixture of both, you'll end up with these two subfolders here and that's where you will always be able to find your rips. Let's go back in here, I can now click OK and I can click finish and you're then free to use the full disc or main movie modes as you um, need to. The main movie mode is quite useful if you've got a disc that's got a number of uh, titles on it such as a set of uh, episodes and you need to extract each one individually. Again, whether you use full disk or main movie is going to depend exactly on what you're going to do with the files afterwards. And that's it. A uh, DVD fab is um, a useful thing to have. They update it regularly so it's always worth checking back with their website. In general uh, you don't always need the latest version, but the later versions tend to do, deal with changes in the DVD specification or Blu-ray specification. So it's always worth grabbing an update when you can. So I'll just close DVD Fab and close that and that. Now on my website, matthawkins.co.uk, if you find the site search box and type in DVD Fab and click search, you'll also find a text based tutorial on using DVD Fab. And obviously, any other pages I put up relating to DVD Fab, you'll always be able to find them by doing that site search. And you might find this tutorial useful if you prefer a bit more reading rather than watching tutorial videos. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please remember to click the like button and to share it with your friends on your favourite social networking sites. Thank you.